Virgo, welcome, welcome, welcome to your love reading. Beautiful ones. Yeah, that's better. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for liking, for sharing, for subscribing to everyone that's new. Welcome to the family. To those of you returning, welcome back. <sighs> Virgo. I have a Virgo North Node. This is going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If North Node and Jupiter also resonates with you, if you watch those readings as well, this could resonate. Please feel free to reverse the roles, cross watches that could be in your energy. Please take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with the main energy here. Before I do that, I want to say, because I just finished doing Taurus. I am, I'm working on doing all of the signs going forward. So if this doesn't resonate, definitely check back next time or check your other placements so you can get the full picture. My gorgeous son is a Virgo. I love Virgo energy. Like I said, I have a Virgo North node. Um, let's see what the message is for Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone that celebrates. Thank you so much for everyone that likes, that shares, that subscribes, that donates to the channel, uh, that donates decks, donates in any way, that has scheduled personal readings with me. Also, you guys, I'm running a special right now. One question for 11, 11 two questions for 22, 22, and three questions for 33, 33. The information to reach out to me, uh, email me at infinitelovetarotgmail.com. But the information to um, the links to, for payment links will be on the community board. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's see. Don't don't try to make it fit. If it's not your message, um, it, you'll come to a wrong conclusion. If it's not if it's not your message, then leave it for somebody else. Okay. And uh, or it may just not be resonating or for you right now may not be manifesting for you at this time. Definitely, it's timeless. So definitely check back. You know, it, it, whenever you find this message, basically, it's for you. Um, all right. If you were guided to this message um, by the title or anything like that, then there must be something in here for you. Okay. All right. I'm going to say my prayer and then we're going to get started. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Okay, Virgo, I'm gonna split the deck. We have spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. You could be. You're definitely on a spirit on a spiritual journey with a with a with a spiritual counterpart, a divine counterpart. So you could be just starting your spiritual journey. So congratulations. You guys could be seeing angel numbers, seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities, going through your awakening, going through your deep healing work at this time. So I love it. So your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust in the process. So whether you know this person already or not, okay, you're 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 being guided towards a divine counterpart, towards a deeper connection, towards a soulmate at this time. So um you being yeah, you have a telepathic connection with somebody. So it's looking to looking like you already know this person. But again, if you don't know this person, this will be a past life soulmate that you have a connection with. You could be already feeling their energy. They could be sending you telepathic messages through songs, through angel numbers, through signs and synchronicities. Close, close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. All right. Give me one, one energy here for Virgo. Heart. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going through an awakening. So you definitely meet your, you met your divine counterpart. You could be seeing 1111 angel number. So this you could be on a twin flame journey with somebody. 1111 is, is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes a harmony and balance of soul counterparts. 
And then we have heart. Your heart begins to beat. Your heart, you be, <laughs> okay, Mercury. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. Okay, very nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This, this seems to be a connection that is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, Virgo. So you in separate, it feels like you're in separation. Um, it's not the right time right now, it feels like, because you guys are uh, just started to embark on your spiritual journey. So you're aligning with your purpose, aligning with your mission even, okay? And um, let's see what's under that. Embrace, embrace what destiny has. This is part of your destined path. This connection is part of your destined path. It's part of your dust, your journey. Okay. Um, so again, twin flames eight, when we meet them, we come, we meet them again and, 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 and every lifetime, right? Um, you're meant to, they trigger you. Okay. So that you can go within and, and work on healing some deep, there's some deep soul lessons. There is deep inner healing work as you ascend spiritually. They tend to be a catalyst to your spiritual awakening, ascension, growth. Um, you, they mirror back to you, right? Some, some of the things that still needs tending to mending and healing within you. Uh, a lot of past life karma stuff could come up when you're on a twin flame journey as well as, um, you know, inner child healing from codependency, self-worth and abandonment wounds could be coming up as well when you're on this journey so that you can go within and um, spend time with yourself in a discovery, in, in hermit, self-reflecting, introspecting and soul searching, seeking answers from within as you continue to ascend and evolve on, on the journey. You're even though that you... Um, are physically apart spiritually you're always connected so there will always be signs and synchronicities that's guiding you guys back to each other okay that's guiding you that's guiding you guys um towards towards you know uh, each other so um okay again with the word whoa <laughs> again with the worth waiting for okay what else for virgo when it comes to love, message for what's going on Virgo's love life here. Message for Virgo. When it comes to love. Okay, so you're definitely dealing with a true love here. Connection. Okay, and, um, and uh, there's a very strong attraction. So the, you're part of the true love crew. <laughs> uh, I've been picking up collect in the co my collective daily readings. It's uh, I've been the, the energy that. I pick up Dale on, on the daily is true love, twin flame and true love. So you could definitely benefit from watching those going forward if uh, you're called to, okay? Because you it seems to me like you're on, the, you're on the true love journey with somebody special, somebody that you love. You're being asked to, the guidance for you here is to make the effort, okay? Towards this, this true love of yours, uh, because great, it's great love. And it is, it's once in a lifetime. It is the love of a lifetime. It is the romance of a lifetime because the great love is worth your taking the steps you're guided to take. When your heart beats faster when you're around this person, that's an indication that this is a special connection. Yeah, look at this chemistry and you do deserve this love. And I feel like you're in the energy of feeling worthy and deserving of it. And that's why the universe struck Cupid, Cupid, the angel of love struck somebody for you. Because you're finally in this energy of feeling worthy and deserving of this love. Uh, you know, the universe tends to serve us what we feel we deserve, right? So there could be um, a message here to continue to work on. I do post on the community board a bunch of affirmations to continue to work on um, your worthiness, okay? I do feel you're very attractive right now. You're in the law of attraction energy, being a magnet to it all because... Uh, you are in the present moment. You are enjoying your life. Um, you're enjoying, you know, you're smelling the roses here. And um, you're just in this in this beautiful nine of pentacles energy of single and independence, of focusing on yourself, focusing on your close family and friends, focusing on your life. 
And then we have flirt here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I, that's what I feel. I feel like you're in a very light spirited energy, lighthearted energy here. And, um, and, 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 and this is the energy that is attracting this true love in towards you. I don't know if you we're gonna find out i feel like you already know this person for some of you guys for others of you guys i feel like you being called to make the effort towards putting yourself out there you know i feel like just when you least expect it love or true love arrives when you're not looking when you least expect it when you're just enjoying your life fully i feel like somebody's gonna flirt with you here and it's very childlike energy you know very playful energy because I'm, I'm getting that with these two images very playful energy very childlike energy and uh um and you'll know because when this person comes near you or touches you or looks at you makes eye contact with you could be love at first sight kind of situation your heart's going to be faster okay if there's a uh, butterflies is an excitement i love it okay what else for virgo when it comes to this it's quite a different energy from um taurus the that reading that i just did with taurus was confusing and there was some confusion in that energy uh the confusion card came out so that's why the energy was a little confused i had like two different storylines there that i was picking up on This is a very hard deck to shuffle. All right. What's the message here for Virgo when it comes to love? I just saw the Ten of Wands. So it could be coming at the end of a, of a tough cycle. Yeah, as I said that, everything is fine. We have the Ten of Swords here. So it looks to me like you're, you're coming out of a, a period of you. You experience some pain, some betrayal. Yeah, a lot of inner strength, Leo energy here. Okay, so um, it's taking a lot of courage, a lot of strength to close this cycle out. Okay, it is the end of the, it's, it's the last bit. You've reached the limit of your pain threshold of this suffering, of this betrayal being pinned down by this past, by whatever happened, something. There's a final nail to the coffin to something here. Okay, and, um, and and that's what I feel. I feel like you're opening yourself up to someone new. I feel like you just finished coming out of an ending of a karmic possible situation where you've mastered some lessons here regarding your worth. And it has helped to develop you per your personal development here when it comes to your inner strength and outer strength, your courage. You could have Leo in your chart. We could be dealing with the Leo. Leos are very lighthearted because it, they're ruled by the heart. We have flirt here for extend your lighthearted energy to others. That's with Leo there, you know, again, with Leo ruling the heart, right? It's a very playful energy. So I do feel like um, there could be some skepticism about making the, yeah, as I said that with the page of swords, some skepticism about making the effort because of something you went through here. And I have one more for Virgo, King of Cups. So yeah, this, this person, water element doesn't have to be, or they have it in their chart. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, this is a Scorpio card. They have a lot of love for you. It's very deep love. Or this could be you. Okay, feel, please feel free to reverse the roles. Okay, and um, and again, I feel like this person. You're gonna meet this person when you're not even looking, when you least expect it. Here, okay, it's gonna start as some kind of flirt, flirt, flirtatious, but I feel like. You might have some resistance to it with the with the strength. You may want to hold back because of what you experienced. Don't let the past hold you back. Okay, because this is your truth. I don't think you're going to be able to resist this. Can you give me one for the everything is fine here for Ten of Swords? Eight of Swords. Give me another one. Yeah, I feel you're at the end of, of allowing. Yeah, you have a new beginning coming in. You're at the end of allowing this past to hold you back and pin you down and keep you stuck in some kind of limitation okay you have a beautiful new beginning in love um you, this this is gonna this is your true love that you are coming about here meeting it feels like um this right here is victim consciousness okay 
whatever happened here, yes, perhaps you were victimized, but we don't have to stay there, right? We don't have to stay there. Allow it, allow what happened to control us, limit us, restrict us, hold us back. Okay. So uh, you could be in your head a lot. You, you are ruled by Mercury. Mercury is, you know, rules the mind, right? Um, the thoughts and communication. So uh, ground your energy. It can help you to ground your energy right now at this time. So, and, and work on, on healing your root chakra, sacral, solar plexus, and heart. I'm getting this. That's going to help you to free, free you. I feel like these thoughts here that's keeping you stuck is um, some emotions. You know, your thoughts create the feeling. The feeling creates the emotion. That's what you're sending out to the universe. So take control of your thoughts. Refocus your energy on what you do love, on the things that inspires you that bring that gives you passion that motivates you okay so um yeah i don't know if this is you this could be somebody in your energy i feel like you for a long time you've been having a hard time letting go of what happened here with the ten of swords somebody want or this let me continue clarify strength We have the two of pentacles. It's yes, I feel like it has taken, you know, a, a lot for you here to to re regain your balance, you know, in your life after this happened. There's juggling life's responsibilities, you know, there is a harmonious change that's taking place in your life that's re right now that's requiring for you to have a lot of strength, but it's bringing in, uh, we have already two aces here, two brand new beginnings, it's bringing in a brand new golden opportunity for you for stability, for security. Okay, after every ending, there's always a new beginning. So at, this was not meant for you anymore. You were supposed to learn from this. So after we close this out and we let it go, um, on the community board, there is let go affirmations. I posted there forgiveness affirmations. That's what's going to emotionally free you here. There's forgiveness affirmations, letting go affirmations, detachment affirmations. Okay. Um, so you can take back your energy. I have that also on there to take your energy back, take control of your energy because you're manifesting all the time. And, uh, once we can get out of these limitations and this, this, what, what's keeping you stuck is the need to forgive the past, whoever it was, could be a, a, a bunch of different people, could be your parents, siblings, co-workers, ex-friends, ex-lovers. This is a, a, a cycle of you getting swords in your back. Virgos are givers. Virgos are, you know, uh, healers, shamans for some, gurus, right? Um, mystic healers. So, very spiritual energy, right? So uh, again, when you give, give, give because of a need to feel good enough, right? Or, or wanting to, sometimes when you're a giver, we can tend to be the caretaker and be of service. Virgo is a sign of service and over give. And um, that can create, that can attract in people that are going to definitely take advantage of that and use that and abuse it, right? Um, so, there, this was this strength card is here, letting you know that you have been working on empowering yourself, um, becoming an empowered empath, learning to balance out your energy, not to overgive, to bring back harmony and balance into your life. And uh, because of that, right? Look, there's a lot of healing here that's been taking place. Okay. Uh, there's a lot, forgive yourself for what you didn't know back then, for what you didn't see that you're seeing now. Okay. Uh, 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 you, you may have to had, you, you may have had to make a very important decision that was heartbreaking for you and you had to choose yourself and you had to be strong about it. You had to be strong about it, you know, and that's what created this, this, this change, um, yeah, there is, again, somebody here that wants, this could be this person that's going back and forth here that wants to come towards you with an offer of love, okay? A Knight of Cups. And it could be the same water sign. You could be dealing with a water sign. And uh, this water sign is really helping your heart to heal here, it feels like. This love is really helping you to heal. 
your heart from whatever betrayal that you've experienced or whatever pain and hardships you've encountered or you experienced here. It made you feel like these are limiting thoughts and outdated beliefs that makes you feel like you don't have a way out of a situation, but you do. I heard spirits say, let love lead the way, follow your heart, follow your intuition. The way that you're going to heal from whatever trauma that this is that you've experienced is by healing your sacral chakra. If you're feminine energy, you can do the womb healing by um, Sandra Rolis. If you're a masculine, just keep working on your sacral chakra and your heart chakra to heal the trauma. Okay. But yeah, I do feel like this, this, this love, this person may have Leo in their chart, that this love is very healing for you. And it is true love. Oh, this is so good. I love this. Yeah, very healing. This love is very healing for you. It's helping you to heal your heart. Can I have one for the King of Cups? We have here the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So this person may not be very expressive to you. They may be probably watching you at a, from a distance, perhaps strategizing to come forward towards you here. Okay, this person is, is King of Cups don't really reveal. They could be emotionally unavailable, right? When it comes to their expression, they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. They like to take control, keep control of their emotions. They're very quiet and very brooding energy. They don't like to um, express themselves uh, emotionally or it's not that they don't like to, it's that they're not comfortable with vulnerability because uh, they feel very deeply all the emotions and love. Sometimes it overwhelms them. So they hide that, okay? And um, I do feel like they're in the process of making a major decision right now and strategizing to come forward, to come towards you. But I do feel like because of what you went through, yeah, I do feel that there is a, you know, there you are, the hermit. I do feel there is a retreating energy, a going within because there's a defensive energy here. There's a, you're, you're a little guarded. Okay. This person may be blocked. You may have blocked this person or they may, or they may have, I, I don't know if they're the ones that blocked you, but I do feel like they could be watching you from a distance. See, this person's on their phone watching. I, I feel like there is a guarded energy here. Okay. And it's because of this, right? It's because of what you went through. That's why I say you shouldn't let the past hold you back. Yeah, but there is some kind of strategy. There is a, a crossroads energy and a need to make a decision. Okay. This may be somebody that has come in and out of your life, um, in the past. Okay. And, um, there's somebody that has probably avoided making a decision. Let me clarify this King of Cups. Wasn't seeing clearly. This is somebody here that needed to go within and connect with their water element, their intuition, their third eye, solar plexus, and sacral and heart so that they can see their direction here um, based on what they're getting from their intuition. Now with what they're, this is like a decision between the heart and the mind. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, this person is hiding how they feel about you. They really like you a lot. I do feel though that, um, again, there are a lot of lessons here that you have learned. I do believe that you're, you're probably coming out. I, I feel like this connection here. Okay. Um, there is a little bit of an issue with moving on in closure for you with somebody from the past. That is your true love. I do feel like this person gets triggered a lot. I do feel like this person, um, there is some resentment in the energy for sure. Um, but it, it, there is a need to move on. Okay. From whatever this was that it's pinning you down here. And, um, and you're meant to learn these spiritual lessons and this connection. This, it seems to be like if, if, if this person keeps coming in and out of your life, you're being asked to be, to set some boundaries and to be very strong and, and resilient here, um, 
to practice some self-control and self-discipline and moderation and patience when it comes to this situation. Because I do feel like there is a boundary that needs to be set here about not letting somebody come in and out of your life because that can become very karmic, okay? This person could be leaving some kind of a karmic relationship. Can I have one more in this King of Cups for a Virgo? They're watching you, like I said, right here. They're watching you. They are watching you and strategizing. They want to come towards you. So it's important right now that you focus on you making some healthy choices. This is what this person wants to make some healthier choices in their life as well. And that's the purpose of these spiritual connections. Okay. This true love is a, is a once in a lifetime. It's a romance of a lifetime. So, um, making healthy choices in love and in life, self love, self care, and being happier. That's really important right now for you to focus on maybe your health, which is your energy focus on your we're approaching the full moon in cancer on the 27th so that you could have a lot of emotions that could be coming up for you right now alerting you also mercury is retrograde that is your planet okay so there could be a lot of things of the past coming up that you're being asked to reflect reassess revise redo reorganize revisit reevaluate right your life the past so that you can heal it I, i'm getting a lot of tears Cry, cry, cry so you can release. Okay, what needs to be released? Okay, spirit. What is the guidance for Virgo? You're at the end of this tough cycle with this uh, love, with this love cycle or any cycle that you've been uh, coming out of. Okay, you're at the end of it and you are being tested right now with the strength card. Your strengths and your weaknesses being tested. But you can trust this beautiful, true love, this, your heart beating faster, the synchronicities and the sign. I feel like this love is, it has, a as a catalyst to your awakening here. Okay. For you finally coming out of a cycle of a lot of betrayal, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. It's like this, this, this connection cracked you open. And, and again, it's a very healing connection for you both. This is somebody here that may have been very closed off, very detached, emotionally unavailable. And then they met you and it's like, you know, they can't run and hide from their feelings. They can't be closed off. Look, this person has their arms closed, um, cover their chest. They can't be closed off anymore. They, they, it's true love. That's why it's like their, their heart beats really fast when they're around you. Okay. And it's like, I'm getting somebody's doing a, somebody's doing a double, a double take, a double look. But again, there's still the reason why this is still somewhat of a struggle is because there's two people here that are still guarded. There's walls are still up, right? Walls are still up because there's still some more inner healing work that needs to be done. So spirit has said, take your time with this process. Go slow. Okay, you are healing a lot. Your star card, don't lose hope and don't lose faith. This is a talking about renewal and um, spirituality, healing, deep healing, purification, ascension. The stars are aligning, seven shot healing the seven chakras. Having a lot of hope and faith is being restored. Your dreams are coming true. You're in alignment with your destined path. Okay, if this is what you dream of, this is your energy, the culmination, Virgo energy. If this is what you're dreaming of and praying about, right? This is here for you in the energy. This is marriage, the culmination, family, grandchildren, financial security, financial freedom, right? Well, we got to We got to, you know, open up to the opportunities that's coming. So there is a need here to really move on and forward from the past to heal to go to karma waters here, okay? To let the tower come crumbling down and go slow with the process, okay? There's still, this relationship has is really healing for you. And yeah, your commitment is being tested. Uh, can I have, and hold your vision here, okay? Be very gentle with yourself and be very patient with this process. What else for Virgo? Your hard work is paying off. Lots of Capricorn energy. I believe we're in Capricorn season already. We're just entering into Capricorn season. Lots of Capricorn energy. I believe that Pluto is leaving Capricorn in uh, January and moving back into Aquarius. 
So your hard work is paying off. Keep going. Okay. You're going to be tested, especially on this spiritual journey that you're on. So right now it is time for you to retreat, to balance out spirituality and practicality and meditate. Pisces energy you could be dealing with the Pisces may have, or Pisces is your opposite sign. So there's something to learn and don't lose faith when it comes to your dreams. Let me get you some guidance here. What else do you have for Virgo when it comes to love? Yeah, Cupid's arrow strikes. What else for Virgo? Nurture the bonds of, so yeah, work on your friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship. And your love life would dramatically improve. Let's get one more for Virgo. Playfulness right here. With yeah, lighthearted energy, childlike energy, laughter right here. I'm seeing a lot of that with this uh Leo energy here and this flirting and this all these children. Okay. And right here, just having fun. Let you know, turning your heart light on. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember that love is the greatest healer. And you are currently manifesting union right now. Your dream is soon to become a reality. So you are the magician card ruled by Mercury, right? Have faith in your dreams here. The energy is definitely gaining momentum. So you are a master alchemist, master manifester. If only you can stay focused, get out of these limiting mindset. Your thoughts are creating a reality. Get out of your headspace. Stay focused. Okay, um, trust your heart right here. Leo energy, which is ruled by the heart. Trust your heart and right here, Ace of Cups as well. And continue to follow its guidance. You follow your intuition. You're, you're getting a lot of ideas through your intuition. Your, your, your. I'm sorry. Your ideas is divinely guided. Is the answer to your prayers. Let me get you guys. Since I'm seeing the Ten of Swords here, I'm gonna get you guys a um, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael. What message do you have for Virgo? Deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good. So whatever plans that you have or, or whoever's in your energy... But the details need work. Reflect, meditate here, reflect in hermit energy before moving forward. What's at the bottom of the deck? And embrace your life purpose because you are ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. I'm guiding you towards a divine life purpose. These connections tend to uh, awaken us align us and awaken us to your to our divine life purpose okay these true love connections so embrace it whatever ideas you get whatever you're being guided to on that your soul is pulling you towards that's what you're meant to be doing because you're being guided whatever makes your heart feel joyful is what you're meant to be doing so whatever brings you joy makes you happy makes you, you're, you're passionate about that's uh your purpose okay that's what you're meant to be doing and then zero in on that focus on that Okay, you are mad, whatever you put your attention on, energy flows where attention goes. Whatever you put your attention on is what's manifesting for you. All right, I'm loving this energy. So um, stay the course. Like I said, I'm going to still continue to be doing all the signs. So check back next time if this did not resonate for you. I'm going to leave it right here. Um, make sure to check your other signs so you can get the full picture. Okay, thank you guys so much for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. It really does help our community to grow and it helps the message to reach those that need it. Thank you for scheduling personal readings with me and for donating to the channel in any which way that you do. I love you all. God bless you and namaste. Much love, Virgo.